It's oh! Wow, there's oh a negligee. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Finding the negligee, I'm a little, I don't want to look at it in the eye. I mean, it's, I don't want to turn around and see it. Um, that's weird. I wouldn't have that out. Oh my God, look at this, Steve. Lady Tina Gale. Wow. I think that probably sums up um, Tina, actually. She's, she's quite the lady. That's from birth, right? <laughs> she's got that from birth, do you think? Born Lady Tina. <laughs> Born Lady Tina, do you think? <laughs> lady Tina. What's for tea? <laughs> Time for bed, darling. Easy, old boy. <laughs> Downstairs, Tina makes her sauce with cream, cheese, and a bit more cheese. Blimey. How decadent does this look? Well, it certainly looks cheesy. Tonight's starter is crab with a very rich sauce. Thank you. Sorry. Super job. Just please tuck in and enjoy. Thank you. I'm not usually a fan of crab, but it's, it is quite nice. <clears throat> Thank you. Um, I've never had anything like this before. And it's a revelation? I think, if I'm honest, I ate it because I was really hungry. <laughs> uh oh. The cream sauce is a bit overpowering. A bit overpowering. Yeah. Taken oh, away right. from yeah. the actual, the actual right. crab. The crab was completely overpowered by the Cajun spices, the mango, the spinach, the cheese. It's so hard hearing somebody actually criticising your food, because obviously if your husband does it, you just bang him and go, well, I ain't cooking for you again. But obviously you can't do that to your guests. Certainly not until they've scored you. I'm actually going to be totally honest with you. I thought this wasn't going to work, and this is well nice. This is lovely. Thank you. I've nigh on cleared all my plate. I just left a bit of salad and a bit of cherry tomatoes for the gods upstairs. So, Tina, we had a, a little look <laughs> around your boudoir earlier. <laughs> I'm glad you're not holding anything or wearing anything. <laughs> <laughs> Steve and I found upstairs beside your bed the most beautiful um, pitch frame with a certificate that says Lord and Lady Gale. Yes, official Lord and Lady, or unofficial because my daughter bought it for my husband oh, and lovely. myself 30th wedding anniversary. Do ladies wear negligee? Like ladies this? can do whatever they want to, can't they? Because that's how you get the title. <laughs> so, a little bit naughty, a little bit nice. I wasn't entirely surprised, but I was perhaps trying to maintain my focus maybe on the food that was in front of me rather than thinking about Tina in a negligee. Nothing wrong with multitasking. Given that I'm a lady, given a law to pass, what might be the first laws that you might pass. Ban clowns. <laughs> All clowns. Do you not like clowns? I don't like clowns. I don't agree with that, Gates. Smell my flower. <laughs> <laughs> You're banning clowns, I'm gonna be underground. Oh, hunt you, you down. Can't ban Banning a raucous clown. laughs. Oh, How can no. you ban a clown? You can't ban some geezer or woman that dresses up puts a load of like, makeup on their face, puts a shiny red nose on, has a squirty flower on. Why would you ban say like, there's loads of other things you can ban before a clown. Don't put him at the top of the list. My Good law is well, laughter, <laughs> laughter is um, compulsive. Compulsory. And you have to do a little bit every day. So like before you go to bed, you're getting a little bit of laughter, no sleep. So it's like two in the morning, you're like, oh man, I'm knackered. <laughs> A little chuckle, get your head down. How are we enforcing that? How do you kind of like, what are you ringing people up? Have you laughed yet today? Not yet. Have a laugh and then go to bed. Can't happen. Can't be enforced. All right, DC Killjoy. So I might be um, probably on the older side. However, in my head, I still feel 18. Don't ask it, Tina. And can you guess my age? Oh, no. Oh, guess your age. Oh. Oh. OK, Bob. Bob. Right. Bob. It's Rob. Late 40s. Oh, bless you. That's kind. Or is it, Steve? <laughs> so I'm sat a lot closer <laughs> and within punching range. <laughs> I would say you're fif 58. <laughs> <laughs> you need to sit down there, my friend. <laughs> Rob went safe. I knew he'd gone safe and I thought, you've gone too safe. 58. That did not go down well. <laughs> I had to make friends and influence people. Not like that. I'm going to go early 50s, maybe 52 if I was pinned down. I think you're... I think you're 63. <laughs> 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 My mum is late 50s. 
I personally think she looks a bit younger than would, you. Would, would you but like that... this to keep digging? <laughs> You were actually spot on. Spot on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. What is it? What did you yeah. say? Fifty-two. I do think she looks sixty-three. I think maybe it's because she's a bit weathered. <gasps> oh, Holly! Oh. Rude. That's just not out there. I'm not. Don't you look sixty-three? I'm going to lend her my glasses because she obviously needs them.